Hey Cancer, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly series for you. So um, you will get a new reading this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right. So for each day, you know, the the reading might the situation might be completely different from day to day, or it might create um, a story. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes out for you. All right. So we're going to start with a Lenormand card and tarot. So the Lenormand card, the first Lenormand card here and the first tarot card make up the situation. What is that? Okay. This is the situation. This is what you're manifesting in this situation. This is uh, represents some details around the situation and this represents guidance in this situation, all right? All right, so let's see. Let's see what we have here for the Lenormand card. Woo, we have union. All right, so this could be about a current relationship. It could be about a relationship that is coming together. It could be about a connection that feels like it's going to be a union. Or this could be about possible marriage. So let's see, what do we have next to it? <laughs> Interesting. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, which couldn't be a more single card. Being very comfortable being on your own, but yet you have union in your in your situation here. You have a relationship that is surrounding you. This is saying that you might be ready for a connection or a relationship, or this could be saying that you are avoiding this connection, relationship, or union for some reason. All right? So what is it that you're manifesting here? Five of Cups. So I feel like the question here is why? You are in some way making yourself miserable here. You're making yourself miserable, miserable because in some way you're not looking directly at something at a union, at a relationship, at love. You have sadness about the fact that I feel like that you're not in this union. What are the details around this? Two of Swords. Okay, so I mean, this is a pretty clear story here. You are blocking your energy or you're blocking your heart or you are just refusing to make a choice about, about a connection or a relationship, okay? Maybe this is an energy that's easier for you to be in than this. This card, you know, always with the five of cups, yes, she's very focused on the three cups that have spilled over. You know, and that's about having her back to a Two of Cups connection. So, you know, this means that you do have feelings for somebody. You do have feelings that you want to explore. Maybe you don't know how to do that. There is a Two of Cups connection here, but it's buried. What's the guidance? We have, look at this, we have the Three of Swords. Now you might say, well, why would that come up in the guidance spot? You know, I feel like Spirit is saying you're leading yourself to, to a heartbreak. And not only is it your heartbreak, but it is also somebody else's heartbreak because we do know that the Two of Cups is here in the background. You know, and some people... You know, this could be drama on your end. This could be something that you are creating because past relationships 
could have been very drama filled, could have been very in and out, could have been, you know, emotionally abusive. You know, sometimes in those cases, all we learn in those situations is how to be emotionally abusive to somebody else when we have suffered that ourselves. This feels a little bit emotionally abusive to somebody here, to somebody that this is love. So there's love here, but it feels like you are turning your back on it every chance you get for some reason, okay? So let's take a look. Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. So it's interesting. So we've got two nines here. Nines are a very single number. All right. So you present to the world, you present to the world this energy. I'm happy on my own. I love being on my own. I love being single. But when all the lights are shut off and you're by yourself at night, you worry about being alone. You tell yourself, you ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why do I do this? Or why am I, I don't feel like you might even know. Two of Swords, and then we have the Hierophant. Yep, it's like you are blocked to the idea of commitment or marriage. It's like you, it's like it's just... There's just, uh, you, you might have a really difficult time thinking about long-term commitment. You're blocked to commitment. You worry about being, but you equally worry about being alone. Three of Swords. Three of Swords, I feel like, is about your heartbreak in the past. But it's also spirit telling you that you are breaking somebody else's heart in the future. Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. So this is basically saying, walking away from something you love. There are eight cups there, okay? Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. So it's like, right when you have love right in front of you and behind you, okay, it's like you, you decide, you know what, I'm just, I'm too afraid of commitment, but I'm also too afraid of being alone. So it might just be easier to walk away from the feelings that I have built up it might be easier to deal with heartbreak now versus in the future. Let's get one more on the Nine of Swords. What are you worried about? Page of Cups. So, you might be this might be the first time that you could really say that somebody loves you or you love somebody. So I feel like you are immature in love. So everything about it worries you. The commitment aspect worries you. The heartbreak aspect worries you the not having your complete freedom worries you. So, let's see, let's do this. I mean, this is, this is choosing to be sad. This is choosing not to follow your heart.
And I don't really feel like you know completely why you're doing that. But I do feel like this is, who you know, whoever this is for, it feels like you may not have a lot of experience with true love. Because you're messing it up. Or you're creating drama for maybe no reason. All right, what do we have? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You're fighting this. Okay, you're fighting a higher level of commitment. It requires you to engage. It doesn't require you to walk away. All right, what do we have here? Love's embrace. This is like the Two of Cups. 20 breaks down to the number two. So this is about you and somebody else. And somebody wants to be in your embrace. Somebody wants to enjoy love with you. And it's like you just might not be ready for it. Because you're choosing the crappy side of love for some reason. All right, Cancer, that is part one for you. Hopefully this story picks up or we get into a different situation for part two, part three, and part four. But I'm finding that the story kind of starts here and ends on Thursday um, with the fourth reading because I'm seeing the story build. I'm not seeing new situations necessarily come up. So if this isn't your situation, you might want to try again tomorrow, um, but it might carry on, okay, because this is the energy. All right, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. If it's not your story, don't take it personally because it's not a personal reading. All right, so anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye.